Sol, about to be totally eclipsed, sparks a lot of activity among the earthbound. Frenzied preparations to study the heavenly spectacular by every means available, particularly by airborne newsreel cameramen over the state of Maine, where observers like Movie Tone's Les Mannix will record a total blackout. Specially equipped Air Force jets will race the great shadow across North America. Over the New York metropolitan area, the eclipse here will be only 89%. The shining orb, nevertheless, attracts maximum attention, with the small fry assuring themselves good views of the show by punching small holes in cardboard boxes to convert them into homemade observatories. The big city show begins at 5.20 p.m., at which time about everybody is armed with some sort of viewing device. something to tell their grandchildren. A reflection is good enough for them until a strange star appears on the horizon. Over Maine again, the eclipse makes its inroad on schedule. And now, Movie Tone's Mr. Mannix, with his focus set, is rewarded by this picture of the moon's momentary triumph over the dominant star of our universe. Scientists study every phase of the eclipse, even sending rockets into outer space to find out its effects on the top of the atmosphere. Major observation points from Japan, where the total eclipse could be first observed, recorded effects with bewilderingly complex instruments. Most scientific attention centered on the corona eruptions, such as these, filmed during an earlier eclipse. The rim of the sun that can never be fully covered. Mr. Moon is just too far from the Earth during these eclipses to dim old Sol completely. <laughs> 